and we just slam it down. She's locked, she's ready to go. Cycle her a few times. She's ready to go. Hey, hey, hey what's up? Hey, Shotguns 101. We're gonna look at semi-auto, and we're gonna look at our pump. Remington 870. Uh, pump shotgun you can pick up at Walmart or Cabela's or wherever they're fairly inexpensive uh, 350 bucks something like that and then my shotgun I use every day hunting is my Browning Maxis it is a gas driven semi-auto I want to sit and go through some basic uh, knowledge of shotguns uh, the first thing I really want to talk about is is gun safety you know anytime you get a gun out you whether it's in your gun safe or it's it's in your wherever you keep your gun stored um, and you're gonna go clean it you're gonna use it uh, I you got to check check and make sure that there's nothing it's not loaded um, so this gun here as you can see is uh, is empty um, we have no nothing in the in the barrel in the in the business end and uh, uh, and so we're just gonna take a look at it this is real inexpensive gun so my idea here is to just give you guys a brief rundown on, on a shotgun. Um, if you're waterfowl hunting or you're shooting clays or just shooting with friends out of the field or out at the pit or wherever you guys go shoot, shooting uh, your guns at, you know, first off, be safe. This is our stock. The butt end here is our stock. Um, and then your, your receiver, your breech bolt, and then you got your fore end. Your magazine is in here inside uh, this is the magazine cap right here on the end um, the barrel this beautiful barrel and then right at the end is your muzzle trigger guard trigger safety safety is on all right so here we got we got my maxis um, this is by far my favorite gun first started hunting waterfowl uh, 10 or 12 years ago uh, the guy that that got me started and got me into it he he said if you're going to get into it and it's something that you're going to do for a while um spend the money <laughs> spend the money on a good gun um and i bought this gun 10 years ago and it shoots just as good as it did the day i bought it um i'm not by any means going to tell you that browning is the best there is or benelli is the best there is or beretta or for no Renaki or however you want to say it um, there's a lot of shotguns out there I love this gun um, it's super easy to clean take apart uh, it's reliable and it's gas operated system I think is probably one of the most reliable uh, systems there is out there um, I've let people use this gun and I've never had a problem with it uh, they've never had a problem with it I love this gun there's not much else you can say about it. So, that being said, uh, let's take a minute. Let's take it apart. I'll show you how quick and easy she comes apart. All right, so the one thing I love most about this gun is, is it's uh, really easy to take apart and clean. Um, so let's take it apart. Uh, Browning has introduced the uh, their speed lock system on their forearm grip, which I really think is nice. Um, it's That's literally all it is. comes right off. There's no unscrewing. Your magazine cap, you just quickly just pop it right off so we got our we got our forearm grip off we got our barrel off we got the gas operating system we got the spring off uh, we pull out our pins for our trigger system whoops I should have probably done that first and there she goes and i mean that's it she's apart there's not really a big difference in cleaning a gun once you get it apart clean it up put it back together the same way it came apart so um let's put it back together simple as that put our trigger system in first here put our pins in put our Firing pin, system back together, push our little release button, lock her back in, spring, gas system, 
Let's put our barrel on. Just nice like that. Put our forearm grip on and we just slam it down. She's locked, she's ready to go. Cycle her a few times. So she's ready to go. Uh, again, um, your, your Model 870 Remington, uh, fairly inexpensive gun. Uh, you can get them just about anywhere. Reliable. Go looking for a new gun and you just want to go out a few times and you don't have a shotgun. Um, I recommend just get an 870. Don't spend all your money on some fancy gun like I got here. Or, uh, just just get something reliable. Someone's going to do the job, you know. Uh, every gun throws shot down range. Just remember that. Uh, if you got a friend that's going to let you borrow one, cool. Learn. Practice on that one. If you like it, get one just like it. Um, but try them out. Try a bunch of different guns out. Go shoulder a gun. Go to the store. Feel what it feels like on your shoulder. Um, it's super important to be comfortable with your shotgun. Uh, the the Maxis, the reason I love it is because it's so lightweight. Uh, it's, I mean, it, 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 everybody that holds it just always says, wow, I can't believe how light this gun is. Uh, and again, the reliability, I've never had an issue with this Maxis. Um, I enjoy shooting this Maxis. Uh, like I said, it's my favorite gun. So when it comes to shotguns and picking out what you want, you just, like I said, you gotta, you gotta have a feel for it. You gotta shoulder them. You gotta be comfortable with, uh, with what you're shooting birds with. Yeah, it's a, it's a big purchase when it comes to buying a shotgun. Um, it's not, it's not something that I think you can just go out and go to and pick one off the shelf. Uh, you really need to feel it out, see what you want. I, but when I first started waterfowl hunting, I borrowed a guy's Benelli Nova, um, and I, I wasn't a big fan of shooting a pump shotgun. Um, I had shot a friend's, uh, uh, oh, I don't even remember what it was now. It was a Browning, um, but it was a semi-auto, and I shot his gun for, uh, for one whole season, and then I borrowed a semi-auto shotgun from another friend uh, on the next season, and, and I, I, I didn't like it. Um, a lot of people love the feeling of, of pumping a shotgun every time, you know, loading that next shell. Um, I, I, I prefer to have the gun do it for me. Um, so it's a matter of choice. It's, it's what you want. Um, if, you're, if you're really interested in getting into waterfowling, um, that, then you need to take the time and do some reading and do your research and figure out what you want. Or watch this video here and make your choice from that. It's totally up to you. I want people to watch this and say, man, I'd really just, I'd like to try it. You know, give it a try. Give waterfowl hunting a try. Don't be afraid of a shotgun um, because you've never held one. Don't be afraid to ask a friend that goes waterfowl hunting or just goes shooting at the range. Don't be afraid to ask to tag along, you know. Um, guns are not bad. Uh, you, you just got to be smart and be safe around them. Uh, and again, so, so let's go back to our our 870, you know, again, is fairly inexpensive. Uh, you can pick it up just about anywhere. Um, it's a reliable gun, and it gets the job done. Um, the Maxis, again, it's a great gun. It's reliable. It's got a hefty price to it, as a lot of semi-autos do, from whichever brand you choose um, to go with. Um, I'm not going to get in right now on this video into choke tubes and all that stuff. If you guys want a choke tube video, uh, drop a comment down in the comment section and, and we can do that. We can talk about uh, choke tubes and we can talk about patterning your shotgun and we can talk about uh, shot sizes and, and, and we can talk about the difference between two and three quarter shells and three inch and three and a half inch shells. I, I would love to do that. So um, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to watch. Uh, I want to put out more informational videos I want to go over decoys. I want to go over spread setup. I want to go over layout blinds. I want to go over everything. I want you guys to watch these videos and I want you to become educated. I want to be educated with you. I'm going to be learning throughout this whole process. And I, I it's an all, it's a constant learn. You're constantly learning what to do out there. Um, you gotta, you gotta learn from mistakes and you gotta learn from other people. Um, and you got to have fun. 
remember that most important thing about all of it is is having fun with your friends and your family if you guys want you know follow me on instagram uh white river waterfall one more thing you know uh we're doing the lanyard giveaway um custom lanyards this has got five drops on it brown and olive and uh, we're going to give it away when we hit 50 subscribers and uh, we're going to keep doing doing giveaways we've got hats and probably some other stuff so um yeah uh hit the like hit the subscribe do all that good stuff for us let i don't know i i got all these ideas and i'm gonna i'm just gonna put them out there so i hope you guys stay with me i hope you guys watch i hope you guys learn and i'm excited for this off season and i'm excited to put out great educational waterfowl videos um one other thing we're thinking about doing, I'd, I got a nice trailer out there and I'd like to get it organized. Um, so if you guys want to see a video on getting a trailer organized, building maybe maybe some, figuring out some different ways to store decoys in the trailer, uh, figuring out ways to store waders, figuring out ways to store guns, figuring out just all the gear that I got, we need to put it in the trailer. So if you guys got ideas or input on, on uh, setups for trailers, Drop them in the comments section. Let me know because I got to get this gear in this trailer and get that figured out. On top of that, you know, we, we got the Ranger. Cousin Brandon has got his Ranger and we've been talking about building a so-called duck rack for it um, for bringing gear out to, the, out to the field. And so maybe we can get a video of that this winter. Uh, the whole process of, of building a duck rack a gear rack for the for the ranger i think that'd be cool um i got a couple of light bars i think i'm gonna donate and uh, i think that'd be really a really cool video to watch so let me know what you guys think if you want to want to see that um drop a comment down there and, and we'll get one of those videos going i got lots of ideas um i'd like to do some wood duck and mallard nesting boxes and ah, i just got so much going on so much in my head right now but back to the shotguns I hope my video taught you just the basics. This wasn't anything more than just basics. Um, keeping it simple, 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 simple. Uh, remember your, remember to keep your safety on out there when you guys are are stacking them up, and uh, and make sure that barrel's pointed in a safe direction. Um, if you're not ready to fire, you know, um, gun safety is important out there in the field. Um, there's too many bad accidents that happen, so. Be smart. Anyways, uh, I hope this I hope this video helps somebody out there, and I hope some I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. We will be coming at you with more videos on a regular. Uh, I'm trying to do a schedule here. I want to put out good videos for y'all. So again, uh, follow us on Instagram at White River Waterfowl. Uh, Enter to win for the lanyard giveaway here by subscribing. Tell your friends. Um, share this video if, if you're thinking about buying a shotgun. Um, just remember, you got a pump, you got semi-auto, and uh, you got to make that decision on um, what you want to play with out in the field. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mossy says, see ya.